In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the taper tool in Rhino. What I'm going to do is take this rectangular box and I'm going to taper it so that it is smaller at the top than it is at the bottom. Type taper at the command line, select the object. Um, also, you'll see that there are some lines here that are black. I've made those construction lines as a way of being able to snap to more precise points. Um, so it's going to ask me what I want to taper, and after I select that, press enter. Then it'll ask for the taper axis, and that's why I've drawn these lines. The start of the taper will be here, and the end will be here. Next, I'm going to choose the dimension for the bottom part. So I'm simply going to snap to the midpoint. Now, if you move your cursor around, you can sort of see some of the effects of the settings. If, for example, I am to select yes for flat, what you'll get is a taper only on two sides. And if I select no, I'll get it on four sides. If I select no for infinite, I'm going to get a slight curvature on the face. For the tapering at the top, I'm basically going to input a distance. I'll use a distance of 6 feet. Right, and that will define the distance from the axis to the edge. 